Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be studying about how to insert a data frame into the data table. So for that, we must be able to connect with the database and then we should have a data frame as well because that is what we want it to be inserted. So let's see, uh, this is one of the codes that I have written for the DB insertion. So we will be looking into it in an in a detailed way. But first we should be able to create a data frame and then we will be looking on how do we create a connection with the DB and how we have to write the insert query and how we have to pass that uh, insertion query. So first of all, here we are creating our data and then converting that data into a data frame. So what this data represent is there are two specifications, two columns that we actually want in a data frame. These are the name and the age. The name of the portions are like Tom, Nick, Krish, Jack, and their age is our 20, 21, 19, and 80. So this is the data that we want to be inserted into our data table. And we can convert it into a data frame using the pandas library, using pd.dataframe data so we have imported pandas as pd so we are using that in order to convert the data into a data frame and now when we have got a data frame what we can do is we can print it out so let me uh, run this code and let's see our data frame so this is a data frame having three indexes or what you can say the four rows and in each row, there is a name associated with the age. This is one of the rows and this is the second row, third row and fourth row eventually. So what we want is this table uh, from this to this, we want to insert into a data table. So for that, what we have to do is, so this is the data frame, right? Now what we will do is we do not want the name and an age, these things. The, this, uh, the structure of the table is already there. We are just inputting the data into that particular table. So what we will be doing is we, we will do is we will fetch this value out of the data frame and then create it into a list. So this will create one of the list. This will create another list. This will create another list and this will create another showing you the code and. So what we will be doing is we are creating another variable. Here we will be having a list of lists. So here we will be converting the data frame values into a list and then storing into it the records to insert. And then we will be inserting these uh, list into the data table itself. So for that, first of all, we want a database connection and before we able to make our connection we eventually want the database details so in database details we do have uh, different details that we should have so here i am using a config file from where the database table details are being getting fetched so let us check the function where we are eventually fetching the data base details so here i am fetching the details from the config file and here what I'm doing is uh, I'm getting the DB details from the config INI files. So I'm not going to show you that particular file because I don't want to release out the password and ID and everything related to my database. But I can show you the code that how we are eventually fetching it. So I'm creating a dictionary and in this dictionary I am using a config parser because eventually our, our data is present in the config file. So in the config object I am storing all the config uh, into the config object and uh, after reading it I'm creating a dictionary having five of the keys in which the values will be fetched from the config file. What are the different uh, details that we want is the uh, is the DB address and the database name uh, on which we want to create that particular table or insert that particular data. And then we will be having a user name ID password and this is also one of the things that I have fetched that is the table name. 
the database name and the table name that in which we want to insert the data and in this function i'm returning this particular dictionary that has been generated from getting the details from the config file. So this particular function, I think you are clear with. So this is uh, completed for me, I guess. OK, so what we have done till now, we have seen our data frame. We are able to convert our data frame values to list. OK, so let us first check. Records to insert, OK? I'm printing out the records to insert for you guys. So let's run it again. And this time I'm not printing out the DF, but the records to insert. So our records that we want to insert are, this is one of the records, this is the second one, this is the third one, and this is the fourth one. Likewise. So now what we want is we want these database details to be present in our main. So I'm uncommenting this line here. What we will be getting here, we will be getting a database dictionary. Here there will be five keys with their particular values like database name, data table name. Uh, username, ID, password, and the address. So this five things would be there in the dict underscore db. The next thing is we want is we want a connection with the database. So for that we are using create database connection function. So here we are giving the database uh, the dict db wherever we are getting all the values from the database config file right here. First of all, what we are doing is. We are referring that in the initial phase we should have a connection status as false and then we are creating a connection D for the DB connection uh, for this particular connection to be working. We are using a module named as bio DBC and uh, here we would be creating a DB connection string. So how we will make this connection string? There are four requirements for the connection to be made. First, the server name, the database name, the user ID and the password. These are the four things that we require. So in the server details, we will be adding the database address in the database is equal to. We will be adding the database name in the user ID. We will be adding the user ID, the database user ID we have and the password that we have. So this is the particular syntax of using the database connection string that we eventually will require for connection with a database and here we have used the dot format function and this will create a connection string that will work for us and then we will be making a connection using dot connect function and inserting the sql server and then inserting the db connection and this will uh, finally help us to connect with the database and after we have connected we have to create a connection cursor which will eventually help us to work with. So we will be creating a cursor. And in the return of this function, I am sending out the connection status, whether it is true or false, the cursor object and the connection. These three things, right? So I'm sure you are fine with this particular function as well. So let's move on to the next step where getting the connection status the cursor and the connection from this particular function that we have created that is create db connection after we have got the connection status uh, then we will be working on our insert query so let's check our insert query function here here also in this particular in this particular function we are giving the parameter as the dig db so here it is coming as an argument so when this argument comes so what we want in the insert query we do not want the whole of the dictionary we only require the last one the data table name in which we want to insert our query 
so it will be insert into and then the table name in the second line i'm giving this can be written in the single line as well but for ease of reading i'm giving into another next line what all columns do we want these are the names of the columns that are there in the database so let me show you the database so this is a dummy table in which we would be inserting these values so name and the age are the two of the columns in which these values will be getting inserted so as of now this table is completely empty so here in the name section we will be adding tom in the a section we will be adding 20 in the first row and similarly nick 21 krish 19 jack 18 will be inserted in the likewise manner so first of all it is insert into the table name in which you want to insert and then the name and the age and the values these are to be inserted into question marks so how many number of columns are there those many question marks would be there in the values uh, section and then in in the dot format like we have used earlier the wherever there is zero the first value would be going into that so the value of the dict db representing the db python transaction table name uh, this is the key that i have given in order to know the table name so the table name is dummy as of now so insert into dummy and then name age values question marks question marks so this is the insert query fine we are done with our insert query now we will be going to actually use the database connection so as of now let me print out the connection status I'm only printing whether it is getting connected or not. So it is getting connected and connection status that we have printed is true means it is getting connected. Now after a connection is completed if our connection status is true then we what we will do is whatever the cursor we have we will use an execute many because we are executing or hitting the db in a one go so execute many is a function that we will be using so there are two things that we have to give into the execute many is first the insert query that we want and whatever the records that we want to insert in a form of a list this is what we we are giving so these two things uh, when we give it this will be executing it and inserting it but remember that in order to save these it is important that dot commit function is also gone into connection in order to save those details so now what we will be doing is i am running this whole code this code is first taking the data, converting into data frame, printing out a data frame, then converting the values of that data frame into the list, storing into records to insert, and then printing out those values. Dictionary.db will fetch all the details of the database from the config file and then in the connection status cursor and connection it will be fetching the status of the connection whether it is connected or not the cursor with which we will be executing our insert query and the connection which will eventually help us to commit or save our execution and then with the insertion query function we are getting our insert query that will be inserted into the database so next if the connection is getting established then our cursor will work and execute many of these lines that we have these rows and it will be inserting using the insert query and whatever the values we want to insert this will be added in place of the question mark so wherever there is question mark these records will be added and then we will be committing our execution so let me run this
So our process finished with exit code zero means this code is working fine. And then let us check our database. So select star from dummy. I am going to execute it. And you can see that this table is filled up with the values that we want it to be inserted. So Tom and 20 in the name and age respectively. In the second row, there is Nick 21, Krish 19 and Jack 18. So this is what we wanted and this has been done. So I hope that this session would be a knowledgeable one. If not, if any queries, you can write out into the comment section and I will try to resolve that. Thank you so much for connecting and do subscribe to my channel and do comment if you have any queries. Thank you.